About 3.3 million years ago, mankind invented the hammer. Since then, man has always wondered, can I forge a bunch of these into a hammerhead shark? Today we're going to show you how we did it. We took a couple of 3 pound cross peen hammers from our local junk store, and we cut the heads off the handles. We then put them in the chop saw and cut the cross peen side off right at the edge of the eye. That allowed us to maintain the eye, and that formed the head and tail structure of the shark. We had to prep our material by removing all the paint and grinding it to a smooth, shiny surface. That way we can forge weld these two hammer heads together, which will form the body, the head, and the tail structure of our hammerhead shark. Once they were ready, we stacked the two together and tack welded them in place so that we could heat it up and form a forge weld. We had to warm it up to about 2300 degrees. Once it was at that temperature, we added a little borax, which acts as an efficient flux and then we forge welded it together using a 25 ton hydraulic press. You could do this by hand with a sledgehammer, but this thing beats the crap out of beating the crap out of this thing. Oh man, we are lazy here and this tool gets it done. Look at it, it looks like a shark now. Oh, no, no it doesn't, not yet. Oh, it's getting there. While we forge out the body of the shark, we'll talk a little bit about some shark facts. Sharks date back a long, long time, about 450 million years. They started out in the late Silurian period. Mankind has only existed for a couple million years and sharks have hated men since day one. They haven't hated humans, they've specifically hated men. According to National Geographic, of all documented shark attacks since the year 1580, 93% of them have been made on males. That's right, sharks are statistically way more likely to attack you if you're a guy. Sharks are very sexist and they intentionally attack men. So, think about that next time you go in the water. Sharks are known as the silent killer. One of the reasons for this is sharks have no vocal cords and they use no audible sounds to communicate anger or their emotions. As far as we know, sharks have no written language either. Sharks do not write poetry. Amazing. Did you know that? An estimated 55.3 million people died last year, and of those, Four people died from sharks. You are more likely to be killed by a falling coconut than you are by a shark. In 2018, the state of Florida accounted for 24% of the worldwide shark attacks. Seriously, yet another reason not to live in Florida. Okay, let's get back to this project. It started to look like a shark. Look at that beautiful glow. Okay, time to clean it up with an angle grinder. We're using a standard four and a half inch angle grinder with a grinding wheel on it. Then we're going to switch over to a 24 grit sanding pad, which is going to allow us to have a little more control and leave a bit of a nicer finish. Just trying to clean it up a little bit, get up in that tail. Oh yeah. Now it's time to make some fins. We're going to take the cross peen side of the hammer and cut it into quarters. And once we've got it cut into quarters, we're going to cut those in half. Those pieces are going to become the pectoral fins. Look at that squish. Now let's shape it a little bit. The pectoral fins are the fins that go on the bottom of the shark, and they're the fins that the shark uses for a variety of sports, including badminton, volleyball, baseball, and basketball. Sharks are not very well equipped for any of these sports. It's time to position and tack weld the fins in place. We'll put these pectoral fins right about there. Once we've got them tacked in place, we're going to seam weld them on, getting it nice and tight. Get a good weld on there. Fill it all in, get some good penetration. Oh, look at that shark coming together. It's beautiful. It's time to position and weld the dorsal fin. This important part of this shark serves to scare the crap out of you. And nothing will make you crap your speedo faster than seeing this iconic fin show up behind you in the water. Now we just need to clean it all up. We'll just do a little more grinding to refine the shape and wow. I think we pulled this off. I think we actually forged a hammerhead shark entirely out of hammerheads. It's been a fun project and hopefully you learned a little bit about sharks along the way. Thanks for wasting four and a half minutes of your life with us. Stay tuned for more exciting projects like this.